morning, students. I welcome you all to Bihar Mumbai Municipal Corporation Education Department Online Education for English Medium. Students, we are conducting this online session for class 10, subject science, part one. I'm teaching you topic which we are learning is refraction of light. And the subtopic which we are going to discuss today is refractive index and refraction of light in different media. This is my second session, students. My name is Mrs. Bushra Maksud Ahmad. I'm from Kajupada MPS School, Kurla. And our channel nodal officer name is Mrs. Rushali Kalavli. Okay, students, so let us begin with the second session of this chapter, Refraction of Light. See, students, in the first session, I have explained you about what is refraction of light, right? Some activities we have seen. Which two activities we have seen, students? We have seen first activity when we have dipped a pencil in a glass, transparent glass, which is half filled with water. We have seen that the part which was inside the water, it is it looked like thickened one, and which is upper one was not so much thickened. And when we incline the pencil, we see that it is seen that it is cut off from the surface. Second activity again we have seen of that five rupees coin we have placed in a container, right? And when we watch it, uh, so uh, slowly, slowly we go away where it, we were not able to see that coin. And when we fill the water, we are again able to see that coin. So have you done these two activities at home, students? I hope my students has done that and they know now what is refraction of light, right? So students, some points of refraction of light, which I have discussed in the first session, We'll just go through that point and then we'll go to the next point which I'm going to teach you today. Now see what are our learning objective for this chapter students. What are the things which we are going to learn in this chapter? We are going to discuss about the laws of refraction and rules of refraction. Then we are going to understand the concept of effect of atmospheric refraction how the atmospheric refraction take place. Then we are going to understand the concept of total internal reflection and rainbow formation. This all thing we are going to see in four sessions. This is a second session for this chapter, okay? Now students will do a revision of this activity number three. I hope my students has remember this activity, right? We have seen, see, first what we have done, students. Sorry. See, we have taken one white paper, right? Then what we have put, we have put a glass slab. Glass slab, I have explained you, right? What is glass slab? It is a rectangular shape, thick glass that is known as glass slab. And we have just, we have drawn PQRS right a rectangle with the help of that glass slab then we what we have done we have drawn a normal n here then we have put two pins a and b and draw a straight line passing through that two pins then what we have done students from the opposite side that is from the sr side we are uh, what we have done, we were watching that two pins A and B and we have put two pins C and D at the position where it looked like that A and B are in a, are in a same line, okay? So, but from which side we were watching that two pins from the SR side. And when we remove this glass slab and we, when we join this CD, what we see, we see that after joining NM, what we see that there is a change in a direction of light when light was passing from one medium to another medium, right? 
and here two reflection were taken place one is from air medium to glass medium and from glass medium to air medium again okay so with this activity students we have easily understood that yes light deviates from when it is passing from one medium to another medium okay now see what was the first thing we have seen here students that the first refraction occurs from light ray enters the glass from air to n on the side pq and the second refraction occurs when light enters air through glass to at point m on the side sr see i have explained you this two point there are two reflection take place when light is entering from air medium to glass medium right and second when it when it is coming out from glass to air medium again then student for the side for the first reflection the angle of incident is i while for second it is i1 we have seen that angle of incidence for first refraction see when uh, angle from incident ray to the normal capital n that is i right and that for second once when second refraction was taken place angle of incidence was i1 okay now angle of refraction for capital n it is r and we have seen that i1 is equals to r right can you see this i1 is equals to r means the angle of incident for second refraction it is equal to the angle of refraction for the first refraction with the help of figure can you see that right similarly what we can say that in second refraction the angle of refraction is e which is equal to i now see if i1 is equals to r what we can tell that i is equals to e that small i is equals to e why this is uh, happen students because on both parallel side both are parallel side pq and rs see this law we have learned in maths also right in algebra geometry that when two sides are parallel then the adjacent angle are also equal they are concurrent we have learned right that things so same thing is applied here so as they are parallel pq and rs of the glass there the change in the direction of light is equal but in opposite direction as they are parallel so this is only this activity want to explain us that whatever changes are take place in this two refraction they are equal and opposites thus the light ray md emerging from the glass slab is parallel to the incident ray an on the side pq of the slab okay hence it is parallel this activity already i have explained you in session 1 today just for a revision purpose i have revised this point once again to you okay students now see two questions we have seen students what were the two questions which we have seen will light travel through a glass slab with the same velocity as it travels in the air yeah will it, will it travel with the same velocity no light will travel through a glass slab with the same velocity or not no it will not travel with the same velocity as it is travel in the air because when it pass from rare medium to denser medium denser medium blocks the path of the light hence it will not pass with the same velocity as it is traveling in a air okay then second questions what we have seen students will the velocity of light be same in all mediums there are various medium right air medium glass medium then water medium then ice medium there are much more medium student from which lights are passing so depending upon the different media how rare that media is how denser that media is according to that only the velocity of the light depends hence answer for the question will the velocity of light be same in all media no 
the velocity of light will not be same in all media. The denser the media, the slower the light will travel. See, if it will be denser, uh, the thing which are more denser, so it will block the path of the light more students, right? So it will not allow the light to go pass from it. So hence, the media which is more denser, the velocity of light will be less there. And the media which is rarer, so it will not oppose, it will not block the path of the light. Hence, in that media, the velocity of light will be more. So which are that media students where the velocity of light is more when it will travel through air and vacuum, right? Hence, when light travels through air and vacuum, at that time, there is a maximum velocity of light in air and vacuum. See, many times in MCQs, in fill in the blanks, in true or false, such things of question is asked that uh, uh, dash is the media where light travel with maximum velocity. So which is that media, air or vacuum, okay? So you have to remember this thing. I hope you have, I have understood this too points again, which I have discussed with you. Now see student laws of refraction. What is the law of refraction we have seen here? See light ray is entering a glass slab from air as shown in the figure. Can you see the figure here students? Yeah, we have seen a figure here in which what we are seeing, there are two media, air media and glass media. Two media you are seeing everyone, right? Now, who are, which will be the rarer medium here, students? Air will be the rarer medium. And what will be the denser medium? Glass will be the denser medium. I hope my students are understanding what I'm teaching to them because it with a very simple language, very easily and very slowly, slowly I'm going to teach you each and every point so that my student can understand each and every concept, okay? Now see what is the normal here, student, normal line? That is CD is the normal. Angle of incident is small i. And when light is passing from rare medium, that is air, to the denser medium, that ray is known as refracted ray. And what is the angle which is made from the normal student? That is small r. And this small r is angle of refraction. This figure you understood? Okay, right. I hope my student has understood this figure. Now see what this figure want to tell us. What are the laws of refraction this figure want to tell us? See, incident ray and refracted ray at the point of incident N are on the opposite side of the normal to the surface of this lab at the top, at that point. What this first law want to tell the students that incident ray and refracted ray, they are on the opposite side, right? We can see that they are both are on the opposite side. Now, the three incident ray, refracted ray and the normal are in the same plane. What they are, next point, what they are telling that this incident ray, this refracted ray and this plane normal is, they all are in a same plane, right? They all are in the same plane. That also we can see easily with the help of this figure. Now, what is the second point, students? For a given pair of media, for a given pair of media, any media, what are the two pairs of media here, students? air media and glass media, right? So for this pair of media, the ratio of sine i to sine r is constant. Sine i means sine to the incident angle to the sine to the refracted angle is constant. And here i is the angle of incident and r is the angle of reflection. So this only, this is the law of refraction they want to explain us that all the three incident ray, refracted ray and the normal are in the same plane. 
And second thing, the ratio of sine i to the sine r is constant. Okay. So these are the points which I hope now very nicely you have understood because many times now I have repeatedly, I have explained you each and every point. Okay. Now students, the main point which we are going to discuss during today's session is what is refractive index? Okay. Now, after doing the revision of the last point, you can easily understood why I have revised that points today to make you understand today's point that is refractive index because each point is interconnected with each other. Hence, from the first only I am telling you that students, science, when you learn science, you have to go step by step. If you understood the first step, then only you will able to understand the second one. And if you understand second, then only you will going to understand third one. Hence, you have to pay attention to each and every point which I am teaching you because each and everything is interconnected with each other. Okay. Now, see, refractive index. What do you mean by refractive index? We are going to see this. Now, see, students, the change in the direction of a light ray while entering different media is different. Yeah, we know that the changes which are taken place in the direction of light ray. So while they're entering in the different media, so the changes are different because every media is different. Some are rarer, some are denser, some are more denser, some are more rarer. So it depends upon different media. The changes which are happening in the direction of light is also different. It is related to the refractive index of that medium. See students, very important point. The changes in the direction of the light which are happening in different media, it is related to what students? It is related to the refractive index of that medium. Okay, now see the value refractive index is different for different media. See the value of this refractive index. See first point what uh, this explained us that changes are different for different media and that, that, that changes are related to the refractive index. Now third point, see the value refractive index is different for different media. For different media, the value of refractive index is also different, okay? And also for light of different colors for the same media. Now see, this I'll explain you. Now see, the value of refractive index is different for different media, this you understood. And also for light of different colors for the same media. Now see, light is considered, now this white light, which is coming out from the sun, it is consists of seven colors. We all know that. So see students, when different light, means red light, blue light, yellow light, when these colors of light enter some media, so for different light also students, the chair, this value differs. As the light colors, there is a variation in the light color, so there will be variation in the properties of that light also, right? Somewhere having more wavelength, some are having less wavelength. So depending upon the light also, student, there is change in its refractive index of that media. Okay? This point, this three point you understood now? So students, now I'm going to teach you the next point. Now see student, what is Snell's law? See, Snell's law is what, students? Sine i upon sine r equals to constant. This is what is the, this is the second law of refraction. We have learned that sine i to the sine r is equals to constant. This is also known as what, students? Snell's law. Now, this constant, sine i to the sine r, the constant term, we will name it as small n. What we will name it as, students? as a small n and this n is called the refractive index of the second media with respect to the first media. Now this constant term is known as what student? That is known as refractive index. 
and refractive index how you will define it as that refract it is called a refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first media if i am taking the example of two media such as air and glass so air will be the first medium and glass will be the second medium so how you will define that this n is a refractive index of a second media that is glass with, with respect to the first media that is air okay so this is how you have to define the refractive index now this second law is also known as snell's law right the second law of refraction that is also known as students snell's law if someone has asked you um in true or false that uh, is the second law of reflection is called as a snell's law so you have to say it true yes the second law is also called as a snell's law see student in between a number of things i am going to explain you that how the questions are also asked mcqs fill in the blanks everything so pay attention okay everyone now see students the third point what is the third point here a ray incident along the normal i equals to 0 goes forward in the same direction at r equals to 0 this last point student with the help of figure i'll explain you very nicely so this point i will discuss at the end of this lecture okay with the help of figure very nicely you will understand this so let's go to the next points now see students refractive index everyone understood now as you have understood refractive index now we are going to learn what do you mean by absolute refractive index what students absolute refractive index are my students finding the lecture interesting right this is very interesting topic i hope you all are enjoying now see what is the first point here students the refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum is called it absolute refractive index now see students very nicely the refractive index of a medium any medium okay with respect to vacuum when it is refractive index if there are two media that is a glass media and a vacuum ice or vacuum alcohol media or vacuum any refractive index when two media are there and from which one media is vacuum so when we are calculating the refractive index of such media that is known as absolute refractive index understood what do you mean by absolute refractive index students see again i am repeating the refractive index of a media with respect to vacuum okay that is called as absolute refractive index now we'll go to second point refractive index depends on the velocity of light we all know that it depends upon the velocity of light right now can you see a table below here students see here we are having different material media and their refractive indexes okay so one by one we are going to see how refractive index are uh, what are the values of the refractive index of that particular material medium see student for air when light is passing from air medium at that time the refractive index is 1.0003 this is the value of its refractive index when it is passing from ice when the material medium is ice its refractive index is 1.31 what is its refractive index students it is 1.31 when it is passing from water the refractive index is 1.33 see this table is in your textbook also you can open up your textbook everyone and you can see this table of alcohol 
the refractive index is 1.36. For kerosene, it is 1.44. For fuse quartz, these quartz are used in your watches also, right? So it is 1.46. With the help of the values and the material medium, what we are seeing students say the value of refractive index is increasing how because here the material are becoming denser and denser for air it is a very rare so see refractive index is 1.003 but as we are see going to to the denser and denser media the value of refractive index is also increasing everyone has seen this observation right for your observation only this table is placed for turpentine oil the value of refractive index is 1.47 for benzene 1.50 from crown glass 1.53 see many times in match the followings and in fill in the blanks also this value of refractive index is arc so you have to remember you have to learn these values so whenever it is asked in the fill in the blanks or match the followings, you have to note it down, you have to write it, okay? If someone has asked what is the refractive index uh, of fused parts, so you, your uh, dash is the refractive index of fused parts material. So you will write 1.46 like this, okay? For Canada balsam, you're having a refractive index 1.53. For rock salt, Students, it is 1.54. For carbon disulfide, it is 1.63. For dense flint glass, dense glass, it is 1.67. For ruby, ruby, yeah, ruby is a very uh, costly diamond, right? Red color it is. So for it is the refractive index is 1.71. Sapphire, it is 1.77. For diamond, it is 2.42. So they hear some example of a material media is given out. And according to that, what are the refractive index of that corresponding media that is also given student. So this you have to just see to it you have to learn it out because many times in the objective types question it is asked now i hope you all have understood what is absolute refractive index now students and with the help of table also you can understood how when the materials are changing the refractive index are changing so the point which i have discussed you that different materials have different refractive index right different media has different refractive index so now i hope you have understood how it is different right now we are going to see the next point now see student refractive index can you see a photograph here see v1 is the velocity of a light which is pass which is inciding that is which is instead from air media, two media, again, medium one is air, medium two is glass, and let the velocity of light in medium one air be V1, as shown with the help of blue line we, I have shown you, right? Can you see that? And in medium two, that is glass, be V2, with the help of pink line, yeah? We have seen that two lines. Velocity of light we ha I have shown you, now see what we are going to see here. Now see student, the refractive index of a second media with respect to the first media, how you will write C, two suffixes, you will write two and one. This two and one means refractive index of a second medium with respect to the first medium. How you will read this 2 and 1? You will read this 2 and 1 as it is a refractive index of a second medium with respect to the first medium. Have you understood how to read this 2 and 1? Now this 2 and 1 is equal to the ratio of the 
velocity of a light in medium one to the velocity of light in medium two. See equation in the red color student, a big equation. See refractive index 2N1. How you will read this 2N1? Refractive index of second medium with respect to the first medium, which is equals to student velocity of light in medium one, that is V1. Can you see this figure here? What is the velocity of light right in medium one? That is V1. Hence, it here I have explained you V1. Divide by velocity of light in medium two, that is V2. Can you see this velocity of light that is V2 here in the second medium, that is glass? So this is a equation form of refractive index. See, step by step when we are going up, I think now you are going to understand the interesting part. So step by step, we are going one by one, okay? Now see, refractive index of two and one equals two. If the velocity of light in medium one, that is V1, to the velocity of light of medium two, that is V2. Similarly, how you can write it down? Sorry. Similarly, the refractive index of medium one with respect to medium two, like this also we can, can you see the equation in the square bracket students? So if we can again write it as two and one equals to V1 upon V2, okay? You have understood now how in equation form we will write it? I hope my students have understood this. Now see the last point here. If the first medium is vacuum, if one medium is vacuum, then the refractive index of medium two is called absolute refractive index. And it will be written as only N, only N. See, absolute refractive index, we have seen, student, the definition, what was when with the two media, when the refractive index of any medium is taken with respect to vacuum, then it is known as absolute refractive index. Now, for absolute refractive index, how you will write down this equation? If the first media is vacuum, then the refractive index of medium two is called the absolute refractive index. And it is just written as N, okay? I hope you have understood each and every point now. Refractive index, everyone has understood, right? Now I'm going to teach you the next part of this. Now see students, again, we will use our brains. I'm just skipping out this question so that my, I have to check it right. My students are knowing, uh, are understanding the concept which I'm teaching to them. Now, can you tell me this? If the refractive index of second medium with respect to the first medium is 2 and 1. See, just go step by step. Understand first line, okay? If the refractive index of a second media with respect to the first media is 2 and 1, and that of third media with respect to the second media is three and two, what and how much is three and one? You have to find out the solution to this. Now see, go step by step only. Now we are going to see the solution. See, number first we'll see refractive index two and one. So it will be, Refractive index of the second medium, that is N2 upon N1. Second medium to the first medium. Now, what is second thing they have the, that of third media with respect to the second media. So third, three and two will be what? N3 upon N2. Make them equation one and equation two. This equation one, equation two, everyone understood very simple as this was a refractive index of second medium with the first one. So two and one is N2 upon N1 and three and two is N3 upon N2. Now what we will do, we will multiply equation one and two. 
as we will multiply equation one and two students. So C, as we are multiplying, so what we will see N2 and N2 will get canceled. And second media to the first media and third media with respect to second media, that second media you know, with the help of multiplication, we are um, N2, N2 will get canceled and it will become what 3N1 equals to N3 upon N1. Can you see this? So when, what is the answer to this solution is, uh, sorry, answer to the, this problem is that if the refractive index of second media with respect to first media is two and one, and that of with the third media to the second media is three and two, then three and one will be what? N3 upon N1, that is refractive index of third media with respect to the first media. Understood this students? Always what we are seeing, that if the refractive index of a second media with the first media is two and one, and if that is of third media to the second media is three and two, then third media to the first media will be, the refractive index will be from third media with respect to the first media that is N3 upon N1, okay? This is how, the solution of this numerical is okay this uh, question is asked in your textbook also and, and it was supposed to done by the students but for your purpose i have done the solution of this problem okay now i have my students have understood this numerical also now student this is a very very interesting point very very interesting topic which i am going to explain you now see students can you see the three photograph here? Sorry, three figures here. Figure one, two, and three. See, they're having two media, rarer media and denser media. Rarer media is air, okay? And denser media is a glass slab, which we are seeing, right? Glass slab is all, usually it is what? It is denser than a air, which is a rare one, okay? Now see students, can you see a normal line here? First, just concentrate on the first figure. Normal is drawn and incident ray and refractive ray, emergent ray, can you see that? Now I is the angle of incident to the normal and small r is what angle of refraction, okay? Now see students, when this is very important, huh? refraction of light in different media. When light is entering from different media, how the refraction take place, how the changes take place, this is very important one. So you have to concentrate each and every point which I'm teaching you, each and every word concentrate on my words. See student, when light is entering from rarer media to the denser media, it bend towards normal. Can you see this? See here, angle of incident is more and angle of refraction is less. Can you see this? So, can you see this? This pink line is bent towards the normal. Normal, uh, towards normal. Can you see that it is bent towards the normal? Yeah, we can see that now. So, this is a very important point to remember that when light enters from rare media to the denser media, light bends towards normal. Everyone understood this point? Again, I am repeating, when light enters from rare media to denser media, it bent towards normal, okay? Now we are going to see the second figure. See the second, which is in the middle one. Can you see the denser one, denser media? Now see, this is the second refraction, okay? Now see from denser media, the light is coming out in the rarer media. Denser media is glassier and rare media is airier. 
So see angle of incidence is I and angle of reflection is R. Can you see the variation in the angles? See angle I is less than angle R, right? So what is the conclusion you can make from here? That when light enters from denser media to the rare media, it go away from the normal. What? It go away from the normal. Can you understand? Uh, have you understood this? See, hence angle I is less than angle R. So here light is entering from denser media to rare media. So light ray is going away from the normal. These are the changes in the direction of the light when they are entering from one medium to another medium. If it is entering from rare medium to denser media, the chain, the variation in the direction will be what? It will bend towards normal. And when it is going from denser to rare, it will go away from the normal. Understood students? See the third photograph here, third figure here, students. What this third figure is trying to explain you, what this third figure want to tell you. See, I have told you one point that I will explain you in the last with the help of figure that now I'm going to explain you. See, when light is going at the angle zero, it means straight from the normal. If it is going from the normal, in this I is equals to zero and R is also zero, means angle of incidence is also zero and angle of refraction is also zero. Why it is zero? Because light straightly when it passes from the normal, there is no change, there is no deviation. So whenever the light is passing straight from the normal, it goes straight in the medium, whether it is from rare to denser or denser to rare. Understood this three type of changes in the light, how when it is traveling from one medium to another medium, how it takes place? I hope my students have understood now. See, in number first, when a light ray passes from rare medium to a denser medium, it bent towards the normal. When a light ray passes from a denser medium to a rarer medium, it bends away, away from the normal. Denser to rare, okay? It will always be away from the normal. When a light ray is incident normally, normally in the normal, at the boundary between two media, it does not change its direction. Hence, does not get refracted. Understood, students? Whenever the light ray is incident normally at the boundary between two media, it does not change its directions. Hence, it does not get refracted. I hope these three things you have understood with the help of figure. See, what was the last point I have told you? I'll explain you afterwards. See, this last point. A ray incident along the normal I equals to zero goes forward in the same direction as R equals to zero. Now you understood this last point, which I have told you that I will explain you in the last slide, right? See, when it is going through the normal, where I is equals to zero, it goes in the straight line that is R equals to zero and it does not get refracted. I hope my students has understood all the points which I have taught you today. Is the lecture was interesting, right? It was very interesting, right? Now students, some assignment I have, I have for you. So write it down in your notebook. Explain the refractive index. You have to explain it. Write it down in your notebook. Explain the refractive index. Second, what do you mean by absolute refractive index? That you have to write it down. What do you mean by absolute refractive index? And third, draw a diagram to explain refraction of light in different media. Okay? The last one which I have explained you. This is the assignment for you which you have to complete. I hope my students have enjoyed my sessions and you have understood all the points which I have taught you. Tomorrow is my third session and I will teach you again some more interesting part tomorrow, okay? 
so get ready with the tomorrow's topic read it down and comes okay and just complete out this assignment and show it to your science class teacher thank you so much students for watching my session Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.